today I'm going to be playing 100% of Time Splitters, a beloved game series from the PlayStation 2. Anyone who's played this on the PS2 remembers how much fun it was with friends and family. My goal is to blast everything that comes my way, complete every level, including every single challenge, and earn all 21 of the trophies for that coveted platinum. Alright, here we go, let's begin with story. Level 1, 1935 tomb. I'm going to play as Captain Ash. Cheers. Cheers. Alright, here we go. Damn, it's been a long time since I played this. I really needed the health. Oh, we got zombies coming now. Sneaky. Don't know if I can actually kill that zombie. I think it just kind of follows me through the level. Oh, nice. Got myself a Tommy gun. Oh, more heals. I've got a mummy chasing me now. I'll take that. I mean, I would if you weren't in the way. There we go. That's what we came for. All right, now we just got to get out of here. Seems a lot of other people came for the key as well. Oh, that one had a gun. There's the exit. Right, hopefully we don't get shot in the ass. Very low on health though. Boom. Tomb Raiding. Our first trophy in the bag. New arcade level available. And a new playable character. Alright, now we've got 1970 Chinese. We're going to play as Harry Tipper. Oh yeah. Oh, got a cheeky Uzi. I'm 16. Don't mind if I do. There's a lot of enemies. Shotgun. It's pretty dark. Some of the enemies are hard, hard to even see. Throwing grenades at me. I don't need to chill out. The enemies are relentless. I really need some heals. I've got the tiniest little bit of health. How am I alive right now? Ooh, Uzi times two. Hey, there we go. Bathroom's got some heals. Not full heals, but I'll take what I can get. Oh, this bathroom's got some heals as well. All right, now we're full. go. Get out of here, brother. Alright, I think we're going down into the basement. Oh, what the hell? I didn't know they would explode. See you later, fella. Oh, there we go. That's what we came for. We got a briefcase. I think it's a briefcase. I don't actually know what it is, but whatever it is, we need it. And it's ours. Oh my god, they're throwing like... I don't know what they're throwing up. It's some weird green orbs or something. We're out of here. Beautiful. Getting takeout tonight. All right, next level. 2005 Cyber Den. And we're going to use Deacon oh boy, Swain. Am I ready for this? All right, let's do this. Ooh. We're in the future. Wow, they are doing a lot of damage. Jesus. Wow, I'm almost dead already. That's crazy. Oh, there's enemies up there. I didn't see those guys. Jeez, I just got wasted. I'm going to peek a little bit more this time. I've also got to use the cover. There's too many enemies in the same room. It's good to slow down a little bit. Oh, I got a minigun. Oh, my God. Right, there's a heal. I might leave that though because I don't really need it right now. It gives us half health. And right now I'm I don't need that much, so I'll, I'll pick it up on the way back, I think. Self cheeky rocket launcher though. You'd love to see it. I'm gonna go get that heal. Alright, we're moving through some pretty tight corridors. Oh, I see you up there. Jeez, got triple kill. Cinia jump through the window. Someone's shooting at me? Who's shooting at me? Oh, that... Oh, there's enemies up there. Look her off. Did he just dive off there? He's on a mooch. Alright, power that up. There we go. I feel like that might have opened something down there where I were earlier. Ah, I opened this door. 
Nice. What is happening? Ooh, got some armor. Right, I don't know what was going on in that room, but I didn't like it. Right, I think we're going the right way now. Uh, I think this was the room we powered up. There we go. We got floppy disk. Yeah, that's throwing so many enemies at me. This rocket is perfect, though. Jesus. But yeah, this would have been way more difficult without this rocket launcher, for sure. This rocket's coming in clutch. There's the exit. Get out of my way, mate. I'm out of here. Boom. Cyber underground. All right, next up, we got 1950 Village. We're going to use Dr. K Cat. KG. Mm -hmm. Whatever her name is. This is who we're using. All right, we'll start with the shot. Beautiful. For anyone wondering as well, I will be doing all three of the Time Splitters games. Time Splitters 2 is actually where I really got into uh, Time Splitters. I think I played this one, the first one, but not nothing like I played uh, Time Splitters 2 and Future Perfect. Those were the ones that really uh, made me fall in love with the game. Or with the series. We're taking a lot of damage. Need to be careful. I've got myself a Tommy gun. You see her in the window? What the hell? Oh, we're running cellar. Look, we're all even down here. Whoa. One at a time, fellas. One at a time. Oh, heels. I feel like I can hold off on that for a little bit. My man's got some range. Where are we going? All right, looks like we're inside the mountain. Some mines or something, maybe? Took a lot of damage there. Oh, is that what we need? Yo, bro, you're in my way. I'm gonna have to let him get in. So I can... Oh, sh... Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't know there was stuff behind me as well. Holy crap. Let me through, let me through. Oh, this is risky. I didn't even grab that health from earlier. Nice. Oh, oh, oh my resident dead. Next level is 1985 Chemical Plant. And we're going to use... Fingers Mackenzie. Hmm. I... Let's roll. Oh, we got sniper rifle. I'll zoom in. Kind of. Well, oh, that is really difficult to aim. I'm probably best just, like, hip firing. Oh my god, that's even harder. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Okay, I'm gonna restart this one. This is really sensitive. This is gonna be, this is gonna be really difficult. Bro, this is ridiculously difficult. Right, thank you. Use is much better. I'm not using that sniper rifle. That was horrendous. Dude, he was in pitch black there. There's no way I could see him. But we did get a ton of health, though. Oh, hello. What the hell is that damage? Bro, this is difficult. I'm only on normal difficulty as well. Bro, I think we just got some armor. And a grenade launcher. That is really hard to use. Alright, let's switch that out because I'll probably just end up killing myself with it, to be honest. Alright, we we'll use the, the, the Kimbos. Could do with more heals. Heals or armor. Need both. Get rid of that guy down there. Oh, I just saw a dude roll. Get out of here, mate. Someone shooting me in the back. Bro, it's ridiculously dark. I need to turn up my brightness or something. Some of the enemies, I, I literally just cannot see them. I think he was trying to snipe me, the little pube. Oh, 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 that's too close. I hope we've almost done. My health is non-existent right now. Please give me a heal. What's that? No, that's not a heal. That's what I need. That's the item I need. Right, before I grab it, I'm going to see if I can maybe find a heal. Because as soon as we grab it, it's going to spawn a boatload of enemies. I'm not finding any heals at the minute. Can I go across her? Cool. Come on, some heals, please. Nothing. Alright, we're just going to have to grab it. 
and run. I wonder if I can just drop down there. Right, I'm gonna try. I don't. It might kill me. I, I might just take a boatload of fall damage. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. that was so close. Chemically crazy. What have we got next? 2020 Planet X. We got Sebastian. Oh, we got Angel. Jeez, Angel, are you even wearing anything now? Like, holy jeez. Ready? Oh, she's mooching off on a scooter or something. Here we are. We got sci-fi sniper. I'd have to aim it, do I? Oh, look at that next-gen lens flare right there. Who's even shooting me? The miles away. At least let me get a little bit closer, fellas. Oh shh. Oh. We didn't fall. No fall damage. Okay. I like it. Let's just keep moving. I guess we're on Mars or something, I don't know. Alright, we're going in here. What is that? Right, well. Can't do anything with it. Uh, up this way. Is that what we need? Oh no, that's armor. I was gonna say, there's no way it's that short. Alright, let's just continue up the side of the mountain. Or at least now, though, we know no fall damage, so. If I ever see, like, an area I can drop down, I know I'd have to worry about taking damage. Oh, I just grabbed a heal there that I didn't need. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me on the ass. Oh, suckers. Beautiful. Right, um, probably drop down onto there. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I heard them spawning behind me then. Just make sure I'm constantly strafing as well. I already killed all them, didn't I? Oh! Dude had a grenade launcher. It's so dark. Oh no, that was bad. I took a lot of unnecessary damage there. Hopefully we come across a heal soon. Oh, there's our exit item. Boom. It's a brain. Oh, this is going to be close. We're cutting this super fine. Just keep moving, keep moving. I don't remember what direction the exit was in though. Wait, what the hell? Where are we? I don't remember this zone. I can maybe take two more hits. This is too close. One hit. Right, where's the exit? It's right there. Oh my god, go, 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 go. Yes! Brave new X world. All right, well, we got 1965 Mansion. We're going to be using Peekaboo Jones. Or we could use Mary Beth Casey. I mean, he's called Peekaboo. I've got to go with that guy, you know. Ooh, just starting me straight in front of enemies. All right. Wait, these just get back up, though. I'm going to have to move. I don't even see an exit. Wait, where do I go? I've just put the visual preset on... I've just put the visual preset on normal. Like, I had it on modern. I've put it on normal and now I can actually kind of see where I'm going a little bit better. Still don't see an exit out of this place though. Oh, so you can kill these, but you gotta headshot them. That makes sense. So now they're actually dead. Cool. Oh, now we can move on. Right, so I'm gonna have to kind of manual aim for this one. At least we can see now though, so that's a win. And then the normal enemies we can just shoot. Like those guys there. You can go in through there. Oh, there's a way underneath. There we go. Wow, how much damage did they just cause? Get out of here. Headshots all day. That one had a bloody gun. It's actually quite satisfying, like, picking the heads off. Oh, there's heals in there, I think. Nice. We needed that. Well, it's like we're in the main part of the mansion. What are you jumping out at, mate? Oh, wow. You make one small, mo like, mistake and you're pretty much dead. What the hell? Freaking animal carcass is shooting at me. There we go. Oh, there's heals. Hell yeah, give me that. 
Oh my god, there's another one there. Alright, is that all of them? Please tell me that's all of them. Alright, I think we're good for now. As long as we can hit them once, even if we don't kill them, just hitting them down at least gets them to drop the uh, the shotgun. Once they're just slowly crawling towards me like that, they're easier. I shot that one's head off just with normal fire. Alright, we got another heal there as well. But we're going to save it. What's this? Dynamite? Okay. Oh, you look shit. Alright, let's go grab that heal. Alright, there we go. You're joking. I've been just trolled hard. Bugger off. Someone's still trying to shoot at me with a gun. Got that guy over there, I see him in the background. See him? I don't know what he's aiming at though. Oh, no way. Oh my god. Alright, I'm back. I'm looking a little bit better on health now as well, which is good. Although we all know that can change in an instant. Especially if I'm whiffing my goddamn shots. Oh, another heal. Nice. Who the hell is shooting at me? Where did you lot just come from? Look at all. You know there's going to be people up here. Alright, there's another heal. We don't quite need it though. Woo. That was close. Oh, that hurts. Right, we need the heal. Oh my... Bro, those heals are so trolly. Oh my god, I'm not looking good health-wise again. Oh, what the f... Oh my god, we're gonna die again. This is ruthless. Alright, we're not dead. Where's that trolley heal? There it is. Bro, that fucking sucks. Alright, you know what? I'm dying too often. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use the rewind feature. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Got... Did it a little bit better this time. Yeah, so, quickly, for anyone wondering... Basically, because I'm playing the like the PS Premium version of the game, they come with these this rewind feature, so you can like rewind to any point, which can make a really difficult game a lot easier. Um, and obviously, as I mentioned just earlier as well, with the the settings where I can now see a little bit better because it's not so dark. That's also if you go into settings visuals, so it's the default. Like if I switch it to modern, you can see like how much darker the game just got look so that's just way too dark so for those wondering that is what i mean by the rewind is it cheating absolutely get rid of those two there's the item we need oh oh my fucking god <laughs> see so like i just got melted by those two so i can go back rewind like this and now i'm gonna take these two out and i know these Little fuckers are gonna res like spawn, and this still almost killed me. All right, we got the skull. Now we just gotta leave. This must be like ridiculously hard on on hard. I would, I don't know how I played these games on hard as a kid, or at least maybe the maybe time splitters two and three is a lot easier than this one. All right, is the exit? Oh my god. I'm like, see what I mean? If that was like back on PS2 and you had to restart the whole level just as you got to the end there. Damn, brother. I mean, I guess that's how they made old PS1, PS2 games uh, last longer. Because they're obviously a lot shorter, so the difficulty was increased to make it last longer. So I remember like having to retry missions, for example, on like GTA 3, like over and over again and Vice City. And in the originals, not only did you die and have to restart the whole level, but yet you, you ended up in the hospital, so you had to travel back to the level 
and you also needed to go and buy, rebuy weapons and stuff. So the difficulty was the exits. I don't think the exits always where you start. I think it can be in different places. Because I, I think that mansion level, it was that wasn't the starter level. I don't. Know. We started over here, so uh, so it's not it's not there. We're gonna have to go find the exit. I don't think I've been down this way, so it's probably over here. Yep, definitely not been down there. Ooh, this is getting intense. Ooh. Beautiful. Where the hell is this exit? There's the exit. We out of here. Boom. Docking the night away. All right, next up. 2035 Spaceways. If I remember right, this might actually be the last level. Try and go through any level with full health. So I don't know if I need to like not take damage at all or if I can just leave the health kits and get it right at the end. That could work. I could also play on easy, so that'll make it easier. Ah, there we go. Map creator. Edit, create new map. Right, I don't know how this works. I don't think I've ever messed with this before. So I guess we just put rooms down. Not spell map. Save map. Let's call it bullet hell. There we go, bullet hell. And there's the trophy. Creativity split. So now we're going to go back on store it. I'm going to go on, I guess level one is just going to be the easiest, right? Right, so it doesn't say take, don't take any damage. So my guess is we've literally just got to make sure when we run into there, we're at full health. Oh, and on easy, it seems like there's a lot less enemies as well. There was like five, six enemies out here last time. Right, so there's one there. That's right near the exit, so that's the one we're gonna grab. Oh, the, the item's there. Oh, that was really easy. Okay, right, so now I just need to get back up there. Oh, okay, that's, that's worrying because I don't think that heal's gonna fully heal me. Although I am on easy, so it, it might. If I can maybe find another heal in the level, then that'd be perfect. Right, so this is the exit, because there's the heal. Right, yeah, so that didn't fully heal me, so I need another one. I remember there was at least two heals on normal difficulty, so... I think there was one... Yeah, there we go, that one. Right, so as long as we don't get hit now, we should be golden. Okay. Full health. Let's see. Beautiful. We are gold. Healthy agent. All right, it's time for the challenges. So we've got one, two, three, four, three. I guess we'll unlock more. So I definitely know there's more than three. All right, first up, we've got Behead the Undead. The old mansion on Gallows Hill is infested with undead spawn. Just the thing for target practice. Shoot the heads off 50 zombies in two minutes to win a prize. All right, looks like we're taking Harry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Boom. Boom. Oh, they're not going easy on the amount. Woo! Oh, we can shoot more than one off at a time as well. Right, so we've got two minutes to do this. So I'm definitely going to have to be hitting more shots. I don't think... I'm not hitting the head, am I? There we go. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we die in one hit as well. What is your face, brother? Right, so we die in one hit. Oh, no, we don't. We just have to respawn. Right, we're not doing good for time, because I'm not halfway, but my time's more than half. Right. Kind of got to get, like, a, a rhythm going, you know? Right, we're going to fail this. Right, I've got this on my next attempt. Let's do it. I think this is ours. I'm missing. Two more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up. Oh, look at that. 0.8 milliseconds. Putrid punch out. Shooting these zombies is just too easy. Let's see if you can knock 30 heads off in one minute with only your bare knuckles. What? Jeez, I'm getting a fist fight with zombies. This is ridiculous. And I'm doing a horrendous job of it. Do I have to aim with this one or can I just punch them? Oh, okay, I can just punch them. And dying doesn't matter, so I can just keep spamming. Reload. Like, respawn. Oh, home, there we go. Beautiful. Right, I can definitely see some of these challenges being quite difficult, though, because the time... you got, I feel like I'm going to be cutting it close every time. 
Either way, dusk of the dead. As the sun goes down, the ghouls come out. Make your last stand in the mansion front hall. Who knows, if you score 10,000 points, you may survive to see the dawn. Right, so we need to score, so we're going to have to headshot again, aren't we? We need 10,000. We only got 10 score per kill, that's... That's crazy. We get like a combo or, any, or anything? So I've got to kill, what, a hundred of these buggers? No, a thousand. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Right, well, since this is phase one, my guess is we're probably going to get more points from phase two, three onwards. There's no way it would require you to kill a thousand. That just seems kind of ridiculous, especially not being able to take a single hit. Right, I'm just going to have to not let them get close. Just constantly keep moving. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Bonus 700 points for, f for completing the phase. Right, that makes way more sense. Oh, I got hit. Didn't kill me, though. That did. Wow, this is going to be tough. Okay, so if you stood here, it seems like the zombies kind of derp a little bit down there. So it might be easier to stand on the landing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did they all just suddenly come from? What the hell? Yeah, I feel like up here is definitely easier. Because, look, a lot of them just sit down there. I can just, like, shoot them like that. I just gotta watch that I don't get hit from the sides. Oh, I just noticed as well now. There's actually a map on the top right that shows the zombie locations, I didn't realise. Alright, I think we've got maybe one or two down there. And this should complete the 10k score that we need. Yeah, there we go. 14k score. Boom. Beautiful. Alright, I guess we can just just die now. I mean, part of me wants to just keep going to see how much I can get, but there you go. Oh, we got a trophy as well. Feeling standoffish. Alright, next we got 2A. Flock around the dock. Hooray. Duck hunting season opens today. Seems there's plenty of action going on down by the waterfront. See if you can bag 100 in five minutes. Mr. Big. Hey, I'm a busy man. Okay. <laughs> I ain't got all day. Alright. Well, thankfully, down to business, huh? we only need five minutes. Alright, got myself a gun. First kill. Uses. You see, this is where all the enjoyment came from in the Time Splitters games. It wasn't even actually the the story levels. It was going through completing challenges and playing split screen against your your friends and stuff. That was where all the enjoyment came from. I remember, I think it's Time Splitters 2, there's an infected mode. It could be in this one as well, but I remember it in 2. And we used to play that for hours on end. We'd get home from school and play the crap out of it. Oh, it seems like we heal as well when we get a kill. So the f the it's going to be time then. That's that's what it's going to be all about. We don't really have to worry about health. It's just about getting kills quick enough. Oh, I've got 18 seconds. How many do I need? Four. Come on, enemies. Where are they? Boom. Three. Two. Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Boom. Next we got Doc Duck Shoot. Well, this is it. The big pro AM Duck Shoot. You're up against a pretty tough team from out of town. To get the trophy, you must win the match with a score of at least 100 in seven minutes. Using hey, Mr. Big again, right? Sorry, bro, but I need seven minutes of your time this time. So we got more time to do this one in, but we also have to worry about actually getting killed. Okay, and when we die, we lose guns as well, so that's going to waste a bit of time, so we really don't want to be dying. Because then i got to look around, finding someone to punch. Oh, there we go. We got 100, I think. I think that was my 100th kill. Yeah, 101. Cool. Yeah, right, this was probably surprisingly easier than the other one. I think the extra few minutes really helped. There we go. 125 kills. 
All right, so now we've got Crispy Duck. Duck season is over, and Duckman Drake is heading off in vacation. But the restaurant staff want to serve him up with pancakes and hosing sauce. Don't let them. You must keep that duck alive. Wait, what? I've got to keep the duck alive this time? Hey, I'm a busy man. Escortee. Right, so i just got to make sure this duck gets to its destination. Got it. Um, maybe if I want. Probably best running it. Wait, who's even shooting it? Who's shooting it? Oh, this geek. What the hell? That's just cheating. Right, well, if I can get ahead, ahead of the curve and kill them before they even get over to the duck, I think that's the approach. Because I do have the map, so I can at least see where they're coming from. Oh, oh wow, I can die really quick though as well. Wow. Oh, wow. Right, this could be difficult. What the hell, man? This is insane. Get rid of those. Shit, I think they're going behind the duck. There we go. Alright, we're good, we're good. Shit, they're spawning down here again. Right, hopefully we don't have to take him too far. I've got to be really mindful of the spawns though as well. Look, they just come out of nowhere. Look, that guy just spawned in the building there. Oh, there's the exit. He's almost there. Come on, duck. Move your ass. Go, go, go. Walk a little bit faster, please. Yeah, he's basically there now. Beautiful. And a trophy as well. It's rabbit season. What have we got next? Tin Man Trial. If we only had a brain. Trouble is, every other Tin Man out on the streets is thinking exactly the same. Can you grab the brain in a box and keep hold of it for one minute? I'll do my best, mate. Robo fish. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Where's my brain? Wait, someone else got it? Need a gun. All right, ray gun, boom. All right, who's the one with the brain? This geezer. Give me that. All right, I've got the brain. All right, I need to hold it. Wait, what's killing me? Alright, I got the brain. But I had no freaking guns. Alright, I got the brain. Again. And I blew myself. I, bro, I can't hold the brain for more than like two seconds. They just do insane damage. They hit me like twice and I'm dead. Give me that. Alright, I'm just gonna run. Do you see what I mean? You just get insta killed. Right, I think it said I've got 30 seconds. It definitely don't feel like I've been holding it that long, but I will happily take it. Right, I'm gonna hide here. Oh, that's clutch. I can just shoot the ground there and blow them up. I've got seven bullets. Oh, I think we got it. That is the play. Hide in this corner and hope you got a rocket launcher. <laughs> There we go, a minute. And we still got a minute and 20 seconds left. Hell yeah. There we go, I had it for a minute and 31 seconds. Happy days. Lobster run. The villagers have gone. Crust crustacean craze? I don't know what that word is, but sure. Chefs are boiling lobsters in the basement, and fishwives are serving them up cold at the inn. You must help your shell fishy friends. Try and save at least 15 in 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so I've got to save my fishy friends. Ow, is it these over here? Oh, so it's kind of like capture the lobster, <laughs> I guess. So we need to get down there, grab it, and then go back to the other side. Oh, and I'm red, so I've got to take it to this one. Okay, right. We know what we're doing now. All right, got another lobster. I mean, if I'm quick, I can kind of kill the enemies before they even shoot at me. All right, I've got two minutes to get five more. Oh, look at my health. There we go. All right, that's 15. Anything now is just extra. Alright, there we go. Finish on 16. Bowl them over. The mutants think that your fishbowl head is weak, so they've challenged you to a fight. Show them that you're made of tougher stuff. 
win by knocking off at least 40 of their heads in five minutes. Right, I'm going to have to do the aim thing again, aren't I? Even more difficult, though, because these ones actually shoot at me. There's a nice little triple. This is way more difficult than the zombies, though, with them actually shooting back at me. And you die relatively quick. Yeah, I'm going to hide in these tunnels. It's ten times easier to get the headshots from in here. Just let them get close. But not that close. <laughs> How many do I need? Five more and I've got a minute. We can do it. Well, if they'll spawn, that is. Damn. 45 seconds for four more. Boom, three more. Where are you all? Here we go. One more. One more. Come on, enemies, where you at? Need one more. Beautiful, we got it. Beautiful, 46, and we got a trophy below their minds. All right, what have we got next? A shame if something got broken. Well, well, looks like somebody forgot to pay the protection money down at the site. Shoot all windows and marble cladding to help their memory. Quickly though, the watchman will be back in just over a minute. Well, we gotta be really quick. Let's go, Mackenzie. So I gotta break all the windows? Okay, this could prove to be uh, Difficult one, just being able to find them all could prove troublesome. Oh, we do have unlimited ammo though, so I can just fire away. Oh, okay, I can also injure myself if bullets bounce off the wall. So I can't just spray. Oh, wait. Those little tiny parts count? Hold up. It seems like those little corner parts count as well. So I'm guessing they're all actually just here. Oh, look, on the side as well. Oh, there's just tiny little pieces on the corners. Missing two. Oh, one more. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Oh my god. I don't like this challenge. Ah, <laughs> oh, there was one in that little corner. That would have been the one I was missing. Yep, last part. Boom, there we go. Next we've got Don't Wait Around. The restaurant is closed for refurbishments. But the glaziers need all of the glass panes removed. Shoot them all out. Might as well smash all the plates too while you're at it. You've got three minutes. Okay, so. Playing as a Chinese waiter, we got to go town on all the glass again. So, they all count. We'll make, make sure we don't miss a single piece of glass. It's a lot of glass to break in such a short amount of time, though. Right, here's the plates. Be gone, plates. 18 more. I don't see any more glass to break, though. Oh, sneaky. Okay, I've got that in this next try. Alright, assuming I didn't miss anything, this should be the final bits of glass that I need to break. Beautiful, there we go. Brick flung high. That was far too easy. But you can't do it again using only bricks. Smash all the windows and plates. You've got four minutes and 30 seconds. We're a Chinese chef. Nice moves, my guy. All right, brick time. Can I like charge the throw or? No. Okay, this is probably gonna be a bit more challenging. I can't even hit them. Yo, these are way diff more difficult to, to actually hit. I, I, I legit don't know how to even hit those ones up there. Wait, I just bricked myself. <laughs> Brilliant. I can't hit them ones up there either. How am I supposed to get high enough to hit them? I can't throw this brick up. What? The hell? Oh, wait. Oh, if you press L1, he throws it a lot higher.
They were pretty difficult to hit. All right, I think it's just the plates now. All right, so much seconds to do all the plates. We're going to be cutting this close. Even closer if I can't hit them. Oh, I'm going to be so close, but I don't think I've got it. Damn. All right, just the plates, and I've got way more time this time. I think we're good. 12 more. We got this. Smashed it. And got a trophy. Brick Vandal. All right, what have we got? First impressions. Help the king to achieve first place with at least 10 kills. He's a little shook up, so you'll need to help him out with some covering fire. You have one minute. Let's go, Mary. Oh, is that it? Oh, that was really easy. Next, we've got lasting impressions. Help the king to achieve first place again, but this time 25 kills. Remember, you must not let the king die. Got one minute and 15 seconds. Calm down, Elvis. Don't get in the way. I mean, if they're all just going to funnel through there, I can just keep spamming into that doorway, right? Although I do run out of ammo. Wait, where do I get ammo from? Yo, king, I need some ammo. <laughs> Alright, we got ammo. We need two kills. <gasps> Did we do it? Oh, that was close. Next, who's he trying to impress? Now the king wants to show off. Your team must win with 25 kills and the king must not die. Do not personally score more than three or else the king's feelings will be hurt. <laughs> you have one minute and 15 seconds. <laughs> it's kind of confusing that one. Oh, what? Do not compete with the king. Wait, am I not allowed to have more than three throughout the whole thing, not just at the end? I guess I'll just follow him around then and not kill anything. Go on, get him, king. It's all on you, Elvis. You've got this. There we go, trophy as well. Mary had a little king. Next, we've got Barrel Blast. Special forces must be able to use weapons quickly and efficiently. Demonstrate your skills by destroying all of the barrels in under six minutes. Male SWAT. Oh boy, am I ready for this? I'm not. Oh jeez, they take a lot of shots as well. Unless we just hit them once and then they erode mid. No. So are they not fully destroyed then once? No. So you gotta like make them fully melt down. If only I had like a rocket launcher. Alright, I've got all the ones in the main area now, like the front. I think getting close works a lot better as well. Since we're using a shotgun, it seems like the range does actually play a factor in how fast they uh, destroy. Problem with this one is I feel like we could easily just miss like one simple little barrel. Now we have to do the whole thing again. I think as long as we don't miss any, we're, we're probably going to be okay. We miss one though. It's gonna be a struggle to get it done. Ooh, I'm taking damage. This is gonna be super close. Oh no, actually, I think we might be okay. Again, assuming we don't miss any. Three more. Oh no. My fear looks like it's coming true. Two more. Is there two at the start? Got 10 seconds, come on, go, 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 go. Yes, there we go. Bodyguard. Lieutenant Christine Malone has volunteered to walk through the plant and draw out some dangerous criminals. She's counting on you to keep her covered. Don't let her down. All right, there she is. Bro, what the hell? I wasn't even ready. Or at least she's got more health than... Bro, they're everywhere? What the hell? Right, is this some kind of joke, this challenge? What? This is insane. Oh 
my god, we're so close. Look at her health. Whoa, that was that challenge is insane. Alright, well we got heist. Fingers and his gang are knocking off the city bank and the police respond team are five minutes away. Maintain a tactical position on the ledge, but don't let the gang get away with more than five bags. Let's okay, go, SWAT sir. guy. Alright. So that's the bank, the heist. I'm gonna chill up here. And I've gotta make it so they don't get away with five bags, I think it was. We've got five minutes. And I'd imagine I'm not allowed to die, possibly. <laughs> Which could prove a problem if it, if it is the case. Okay, I can die. So I'm guessing they go in there and come out with the bags. I gotta shoot them before they get away. Oh yeah, so I can see in the top right there on the map, this guy's flashing, he's got one of the bags. And he's got one as well. But I'm, I'm, I'd imagine they can also now just grab the ones that are there. So they're slowly gonna get away. I mean, one of them are up here, so that's good for me. Alright, I thought this was gonna be difficult, but I think it might actually not be too bad. Just because you can respawn, and you respawn like almost instantly. And one of the idiots thought it was a good idea to bring the bag up here, so... You have to get all the way up here to actually to steal it. Alright, I think one of them got away. Yeah, one bag lost. Beautiful. There we go. Five finger defense. We got more. We still got more. There's quite a lot of challenges. A shop till you drop. Help Peekaboo and Mary Beth with the weekly grocery run. Be careful though, as the mutants and cyborgs are doing their shopping too. Check out 15 items in three minutes. Gingerbread man. Hey. Alright, here we are. So how do I check out items? Wait, I'm confused. Where's the items? Oh, he's got one. Bro, I just keep dying. Bro, this is solid. I just keep getting spawn killed. It's like Call of Duty. Oh my god, I got one. Do you know what? I might be best just sitting over here and waiting for the enemies to bring the bags to me. Right, I need three more and I got 40 seconds. That's pretty good. Two more. And my teammate's got one there, so one more maybe. Oh, one more 30 seconds. We got this. I made it, I made it. Yes, there we go. 15. That one, um, I wouldn't say it was like really hard because I didn't try loads and loads of times, but... It did take me a good, like, seven attempts, maybe. What's our next challenge? Sorry, was that your bag? Doctors Graven and Nadir are having a little trouble down at the mall. Seems to be some confusion over who shopping is in which bag. Sort it out by helping them win with a score of at least five in three minutes. Well, I like the little music. All right, so what are we doing here? All right, so we've got teams again. Oh, it's like capture the flag, okay. Kind of. So I've got to go to their their um, base and steal their bag and take it back to mine. Right, I got eight so far. Oh, that was enough. Nice. Everyone must go. Proximity mines are all on sale at a knockdown price at the mall. Impatient people are setting them off before they leave the store. Try to win with a score of at least 45. You've got three minutes. Seems like this stairway is a good area. We seem to get stuck on it. I mean, if it is just a score of 45, then we've easily done it. Already got 47 with a minute left. Beautiful. That was easy. 66 kills. Everyone hide. It's the gingerbread man. Next up, we've got girls and boys. Who's the best? The girls, of course. Fire a fun bunny is hit what a name. <laughs> Here to help them them win with a score of at least 80 in just five minutes. Alright. Fire a fun bunny, there it is. Yeah. That is quite the character right there. Alright, so far so good. I don't know if we're at a good pace though. Ooh, we got it. Score of 80. I was kind of worried I weren't gonna make it, but first try, I'll take it. I think the hardest part was just like actually finding the enemies. Next up is dinner dates. It was supposed to be a romantic candle lit dinner for 10, but things got out of hand when there wasn't enough doggy bags to go around. Help the girls win with a score of at least five. Oh, so I think it's basically the same as the shopping level. Where we gotta go and steal their, uh, 
their bases bag and take it back to mine. Gotta bloody find it first though. Where the hell are they? I'm getting absolutely destroyed. I, I haven't even seen where their bag is yet. Right, it's got one. And it weren't even me. It was the bot. Damn. Okay, well I got three. None of them were me though. I've still yet to see where their base actually is. Alright, so the strategy I'm trying here is I don't even go for it. I just let my bots go. Because a lot of the time my bots can just run past the other enemy, like past the enemies. Whereas with me, they just beam me straight away. So I'm just like hiding in this room, letting my bots grab the, the case. And I just basically just kill all the enemies when they enter this room. I mean, it's working so far. We got two minutes and I've got three. All right, I've got a minute and I need one more. My bots got one. Come on, take it, take it. 30 seconds. Really? Alright, I'll do it myself. There we go, five. Boom. We're good. Bone grab. The boys and the girls are playing dares in the graveyard. Who's brave enough to hold the bones for at least three minutes? Hmm. Everyone, it seems. Got the creepy ass music. Got the enemies. Right, so I guess if my teammate's holding it, it also counts. Yeah, okay, so I can just defend my teammate. And then if she dies, I can just take it. And I think we only need a minute, I think it said. Right, so now I've got it. So I should be able to keep it for a decent amount of time, especially with teammates. I mean, we've already got 40 seconds and we still got ages. All right, well, we've got over a minute. We've still got three minutes of time, so this one was really easy. There we go. That was super easy. We held it for three minutes and 47 seconds and we got a trophy, heroin hair. And now it's time for the final three challenges. Up first, I can't hear anyone screaming. Time Splitters has overrun your spacecraft and slaughtered the entire crew. Teach them a lesson by blasting at least 60 of the uncharitable critters in five minutes. Put in a Sebastian Roger, Proto. I'm going in. This is going to be another one of those where the challenge is actually just finding the enemies to shoot. We need four more. Three more. Right, we should be good here as long as we don't suddenly stop spawning. Yeah, there we go, we got it. Exactly 60. Second to last, flight delay. The time splitter's flight is delayed and they're getting bored and restless in the departure lounge. Coincidentally, the spaceways stewardess needs an armed escort to the departure gate. Oh no, not the escort missions, these are usually pretty difficult. Uh, there she is. Let's get some armor and a weapon. At least it's just critters, so they're not quite as bad as uh, normal enemies with guns. I can get ahead as, as well, and then as long as they don't spawn behind us. I love considering how much danger they're in, how slowly they walk. It's just, just a stroll. Never mind all the bug things trying to eat my face. Oh, I'm running low on ammo, though. Where do I get ammo? Ah, there we go. Bit of ammo. Nice. Shit, got the spawning behind her. Alright, she's not too bad for health. Definitely could be better, but could also be a lot worse. She walks through the health, will it heal her? No, I guess that'd be too easy. They do a lot of damage though when they hit her with that like throw attack thing. Someone's waffling on the intercom or something. They all just funnel through here, it should be pretty easy. Get out of the way! Shit, we need ammo. She's taking damage. Ooh, this is rough. Oh, I didn't even get ammo. There we go. Right, I feel like she's got to be close now. So when we played this level earlier, the end of the level was... Or at least the item we needed was like at the top of this. As if you remember, it was kind of like a little lift, weren't it, at the end of the room. Where is she? Oh, I think they're spawning over here. Yeah, there you go. That's the exit. Go on, get in there. You're right there. I mean, she's still got half of her health, so I think we're safe. There we go. You love to see it. All right, here it is. The final challenge. The final trophy for the Platinum. Space Vandals. Those pesky time splitters don't know when to stop. Now they're trying to destroy the crystal formations on planet X. Make a stand and try to stop them. 
he must score at least 25,000 points. Uh, use this guy. So it seems like it's going to be like the, the zombie challenge where we're stuck in a small little area, possibly. All right, here we go. Oh, five seconds. What, do I have to literally sit in this little circle here? Yeah, so very similar to the zombie one. Except I'm defending bases, so I think I'm defending those crystals. Yeah, it tells me to return. I'm just trying to get ammo. Right, so 25,000 for all the marbles, for all the gold. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, shit. I'm shooting from over there somewhere as well. Can I get an angle on him, though? I think I got him. Nice. He was at a really awkward angle. Phase three. All right, we got a bonus. Right, maybe this, we might need, need to survive one more phase. Oh, my bases are taking a lot of damage, though. I've almost lost base two. Uh, base two's gone. We've got another one up there. Get off my bases! All right, base three and four are close to being destroyed as well. I think I've only got base one left. And our base four's got a little bit... Oh, shit, I'm out of ammo. Oh, this isn't looking good. Damn, I keep running out of ammo. Right, I need to make sure I keep going over there and grabbing the uh, the ammo when it spawns here. Right, I've already lost base two. Right, doing good on ammo though. Almost 200 sh shots. Oh, are you serious? I just died. Oh, I can pick up my own ammo. What? There's no way. You're supposed to get on this? I had no idea. I was making it way more difficult. I didn't realize you can just get on the gun. I was just looking at it then thinking like, why is that not shooting anything? Oh, well, this has probably just made the challenger a hell of a lot easier. Especially considering this has got unlimited ammo. Makes sense now why the region thing was so small. I don't even have to be accurate or anything though, because it doesn't overheat. So I can just, just spray. Get off my base. Boom, phase four complete. Oh, we got 21,000, so we need to complete one more phase. Oh, okay, we're cutting it to the wire still though. Oh, look at that, we need less than 900 points. We've only got two bases left though, base three and four. And they're not doing good. Oh, no way. So close. All right, last phase. And I just destroyed my own bloody gem. Can you stop shooting it from up there, please? Thank you. All my bases are pretty much dead. Wow, we need a thousand. It's this last phase that, that's rough. With all of our things being basically destroyed at this point. This is actually really difficult. Right, I don't want to jinx it, but this run's going pretty well so far. I feel like this is a combination of luck and knowing where the enemies spawn. I say luck because, as you can see, sometimes your bullets just whiff for like three seconds straight. And then other times you kill them like instantly. So there's, there's a lot of RNG with where the bullets actually go. Because even when you zoom in, it's still super inaccurate. Still got base one and three with a decent amount of health, so that's a win. Two and four are almost down though. Is that the lot? All right, it's another wave, that's wave four. Ooh, we're almost there. This is the best I've done by far. If I can complete this next wave now, I think I might be good. I think one more wave spawn here like this. And I think we get a bonus score after that. Come on, give me a bonus. Give me a bonus, give me a bonus. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. I think, I really hope it was 25,000 that I needed. If it was, we got it. This one was definitely the most difficult. It took me a good half an hour, I would, I would say. I don't know if it took that long, but it felt like it took that long. Yes, there it is, Crystal Defender, which means we also get the bloody platinum. 
give it to me time splitters old time classic and that's it thank you everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed this one if you did maybe check out this next video